property advice for real. With Hauser, the UAE's new home for buying, renting or selling a property. Talking real estate this morning, delighted to be joined in the studio by the head of marketing at Hauser, Sarah Hewitt. Dean, morning, Sarah. Good morning. Store visas. The overhaul of the UAE visa residency system will, quote, hugely benefit the country's real estate market and bring a significant influx in buyers, according to brokers in the market. Explain the thinking. So... As you've mentioned, the overhaul of visas is definitely going to have a tremendous impact. So the biggest change that we see, direct impact, really comes down to the 10-year golden visa. So uh, a buyer, if they're buying a property of a 2 million dirham, um, and it can be mortgaged, can now get a 10-year golden visa. Um, They're kind of the direct impacts, and that also allows for off-plan. So historically, you could only actually get the golden visa if you have a title deed. Now you do not need that, and you can buy through off-plan as well, again, over 2 million dirham. To put that in context, the average property price in Dubai is about 2.2. Average for off-plan is 1.7. But when you look over the 2 million dirham, uh, roughly about 35% of the transactions are off-plan. So that's definitely going to unlock a lot of opportunities for people to get the golden visa. Interesting, Tom, isn't it? That we're getting so many questions still about visas and people looking at the, the different types of visas on offer now. Exactly that, um, because there are options out there. But just to the point, I think that we're, we're, was just being made now. There's, we're still waiting for details on a lot of these visas at the moment. How much they're going to cost? Who can mm-hmm. qualify? Um, in theory, um, the initiative is great. Uh, it's, it's, it's generating interest. It's generating chats like this. It's 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 making options being open left, right, and centre. But we do need to wait for a bit of the small print. Yeah, I think that's definitely it. And when you look at the visa changes we've seen even over the last couple of years, that's had a really profound impact on the real estate market. So what we know is this will definitely help the real estate market continue the trends that we've seen in the last, you know, 12 to 24 months. To what extent? Again, it does depend on the fine print. It really does depend on the cost and it does depend on the individual use case as well. Quick question for me, though, about this one, because traditionally here, um, you know, we haven't really talked about the property ladder here that you might talk about back in London or other parts of the world, getting on that property mm. ladder, etc. Because a lot of people come here. Um, traditionally, it's been on short-term contracts, uh, stay for three years, then you end up staying for a little longer, etc. Is this going to encourage those those younger workers looking for opportunities here to jump into real estate, given the sort of security they can now get behind them with visas? I think so, yeah. And I think it also depends on your home country. I think that definitely has an impact on how attractive you see the golden visa, because a lot of people, maybe if you're coming from a country that isn't maybe as stable as the UAE, you would really be adamant to save, stay in the UAE and unlock that 10 year golden visa. So you have that sense of security. So I think, again, it does depend to the individual use case. But I think it's definitely going to encourage a lot more younger people to save. And I think you'll also see a lot of people save and make sure they buy properties over that 2 million dirham mark. Because if you're going for a place at 1.9, I think a lot of individuals will then push their budgets a little bit more. Because why would you not to get, again, unlock that 10-year visa? Mm. You do have that stability when you, you know, living here and working here and working for an employer. But I think having that as a... I assume, you know, a safety net is wonderful. Mm. However, Dubai isn't cheap, you know. It's, it, you can only be so long here without a job, and especially if you're buying a house at 2 million dirham and maybe you don't have that salary coming in every month. It's definitely something that I think, uh, again, will help a lot more of the investors, but I do think it will attract those younger yeah. professionals to save and invest as well. Rob has written in, what happens to my golden visa when my property value drops? I buy it at 2.1. <laughs> we don't know, Rob, but it's a really interesting question and an interesting conversation that will continue. Sarah, we're out of time. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. It's the voice of Sarah Hewardine. She is with Hauser.